Hey, this is Todd at DigitalEnamel.com where we are elevating digital dentistry. We are going to be talking about Ivoclar Vividence, Empress CAD. I've used a lot of Empress CAD over the years and uh, it's one of my all-time favorite go-to blocks. And the reason why you want to buy it is because it's phenomenal. As far as aesthetic goes, there aren't too many ceramics on the market that can beat uh, what Empress CAD can do. Empress CAD started out actually uh, as ProCAD in our machining world, in the CAD CAM world, and then they changed the name a number of years ago to Empress CAD to kind of follow the line of the history of what ceramic dentistry kind of came about from. And we can thank Ivoclar Vivident for really launching and revolutionizing uh, aesthetic dentistry in the early 90s when it came to Empress material, which can be pressed or machined now. now it comes in uh, multiple different types of uh, variations, but there's an HT, an LT, uh, a blended block, the multi-block, and then also the bleach line. Personally, I do a lot of HT versions because it has a great chameleon effect. It really can blend into two structure really well when you use a more of a warm type cement, in my opinion. And then the multi-block. I have done some of my most favorite veneers in the multi-block. It has a blended translucency and opacity for it, but it has great fluorescence, just like natural two structure. And then the bleach line, comes in uh, BL1, BL2, BL3, BL4, and uh, that's a huge range of bleach. Personally, in my world, in Austin, Texas, uh, BL2 usually hits the mark really well. BL1 is on more on that really, really white, oh my gosh, look at my veneers kind of shade, but that might be an area that, you might live in an area that may warrant that. I, I'm not a big fan of the BL3, BL4s, because uh, quite frankly, my patients, if they're going bleach, they want to go a little bit lighter than that. Empress CAD uh, comes in different posts, so you can get it in different machining devices like the CEREC uh, system, and I believe the program mill system can also mill it. So there's a, uh, it's not exclusive to the CEREC system. And it roughly costs um, low 20s uh, US dollars, probably about 22, 22 US dollars for the HT or the LT version. The multi-block goes up into the $30 range. But you know when you're talking that kind of difference in money, it's actually kind of worth it to go up to the multi-block if you're uncertain on which uh, uh, translucency or opacity block you should actually get. Empress CAD can be used all over the mouth, however you got to understand it has a flexural strength of about 160 to maybe 185 megapascal uh, flexural strength. And so that needs to be bonded. Uh, you have to have adequate occlusal reduction, which is anywhere from one and a half to two millimeters. I would recommend more on the two millimeter side in the posterior. In the anterior, you can get it down, in my opinion, probably down to basically what you can machine, uh, probably down to say 0 0.5, 0 0.4, even though the instructions say maybe more like a three quarter of a millimeters. Uh, so you have a lot of latitude in that. But in the posterior, you can do it for inlays, onlays, crowns, no bridges, of course. But you know, it, when it comes to inlays and onlays, there's a lot of other materials that you could pick from in, in our day and age of uh, dentistry right now. Probably better than this because this is a very stiff material because it's a feldspathic ceramic. Uh, so the modulus of elasticity is not totally conducive with what two structure is. So there's other categories that probably fit that better than this. But as far as crowns go, uh, maybe premolars forward, man, they look awesome. If you're going farther back, probably want to look at other uh, materials like uh, lithium disilicate or even zirconias for that. You should put Empress CAD in your toolbox for digital cosmetic dentistry.